1993, Molokhini held the seat after the death of Nadiope. At the time, cultural institutions which were abolished in 1967 were reinstated. He was seen as a pillar of unity, but his death threw the monarchy in turmoil as the two families renewed their fight for the Holy Grail. On one hand was Prince Edward Columba Swambuzi, son to the late Moloki, and Prince Gabula Nadiope, the grandson to River Force Nadiope. <laughs> Politicians have been sacked in this slumbering as the Speaker Rebecca Kadaga supports Nadiope and her rival former Deputy Premier Kirunda Kivedinja, Voices for Ambuzi. Every single attempt to have a new king elected by kingdom's chiefs hit a dead end, overshadowed by wrangles, claims and counterclaims, court cases upon court cases. The, the, the ten chiefs out of the eleven were there yeah. and they called me, so I went to the <laughs> It was not until the High Court in Jinja ruled that David Wanume Wakoli be installed as the interim caretaker of the throne. In May this year, Speaker Rebecca Kadaga stormed the Kingdom's Palace at Bugembe and delivered a message from President Yori Museveni, who directed that the loyal guards be withdrawn from the palace. It was not until yesterday that 10 chiefs, excluding Wambuzi, assembled to elect the fifth Chabazinga, in which Nadiope emerged winner. Yet the chief prince says, it was a sham erection. <laughs> Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition. <laughs>